our uh, topic uh, here is about uh, uh, thematic HMI and uh, discrete uh, alarm generation. Uh, in this example, we have uh, only value here. Our analog value is uh, compared with the high and low limit and uh, three uh, situation or uh, three binary signal is generated based on the uh, limit when the high limit is passing. We have uh, high limit activation alarm when the low limit is passing. Uh, low limit activation will be true and uh, when we are in the middle we have a normal condition uh, we have hysteresis of 2% here and uh, we have acknowledged signal mm, it's necessary to acknowledge when you are back to normal the value outlook value is mm, coming from mm, the HMI it's coming from the slider, it's integer, and we convert that to floating point. Uh, let me um, explain the uh, alarm generation concept here. Uh, consider your your value uh, your consider you are, your value is here. It's uh, around ninety. So the high alarm is off, but when you reach to the, the maximum value, uh, the max value is 95, when you reach to the maximum value, in here 95, when you reach to 95, uh, the alarm will be active and uh, it will be latched uh, in order to have uh, the output uh, active uh, we can see two percent uh, hysteresis mm, and uh, when you reach to this point 93 and uh, less than 93 uh, it's possible to reset the high alarm The alarm will be lashed until the operator uh, reset the signal. Uh, the program is simply developed in uh, uh, ladders. Uh, some part is developed in uh, uh, STL to uh, calculate the hysteresis. Hysteresis minus and hysteresis plus. Uh, the high limit is uh, High limit viol violation is activated when the other input is more than high limit. High limit, and if you want to reset the high limit, uh, you need to be uh, in this region. Uh, it should be uh, in the uh, you know, high limit minus the hysteresis value region. So, uh, if you are in this region and if you press acknowledge uh the high limit alarm will be reset same for lower limit and if uh, you are within the high and low and the, these alarm signals are not active you are in normal mode so uh, for us it's possible to function test the whole procedure uh when we are mm, let me see if uh, CPU is in run mode uh, when, mm, when we are, for example, 50. Normally, uh, uh, with zero, we are in low limit. Low limit is activated. And now we are in normal, normal mode. So uh, we start moving to 90. In 90, we have uh, the normal situation, we go to 93, 93, uh, still normal, we are normal, but what about 95, when we are in 95, we are uh, in high limit, what about 93, 
94, 94, we are in 94, still in high limit. What about acknowledging? Acknowledging is not uh, helpful here. Again, we return to 93, then we are back to 93. And if we are uh, if we acknowledge, uh, we will back to normal. What about uh, if we mm, move to C? Still, we are in normal. What about if we uh, reach the five percent? The low limit is activated. Uh, if we go to uh, six, we are still uh, in the low limit. Let me turn off the acknowledge. And if we move to seven, and uh, if we acknowledge, we go back to normal. So uh, this is a simple um, uh, outlook monitoring program that is developed in Ladder. Uh, we want to develop a very simple uh, uh, HMI page uh, to interact with the program and create some uh, this uh, uh, discrete alert. Uh, for the next step, I should go to go offline. I, I will off, uh, offline the program and uh, add new device. Select uh, automatic comfort panel. You can select any uh, panel you want that is suitable for your application. In this step, we need to add uh, the control, the, uh, the controller, and the communication path. We have this available CPU Ethereum with our uh, communication path. Uh, we can uh, select the user to add some screens and some basic uh, uh, layout of the graphic page. We will move to the uh, starting, uh, starting page. Uh, in the starting page, we mm, need to add the slider for the outlook manipulation. Uh, let me save and copy all the PLC tags. I don't need all PLCs, but uh, let me copy for ease of access here. Copy them to HMI tag. So we have all uh, needed uh, tags here. Uh, in general, the search for process tag and uh, the process tag is on the uh, integer we save the the page and uh, we need the we need a button for acknowledgement. Uh, acknowledge, right click, check the properties, text format, we increase the uh, font of the text to 25. Uh, let's see what's happening here. So we acknowledge here. And uh, we should add some alarm text here for uh, for the HMI, you should go to HMI alarm and in the uh, discrete alarm section, we add the first alarm. Uh, the first alarm is high alarm, high alarm. Uh, the, uh, another alarm is low alarm. And the next alarm is normal. And the uh, normal status is not an uh, alarm. Yeah, we can change the class to warning. Uh, so, uh, for trigger tag, uh, the high alarm is, uh, let me check. High 
high alarm is M100.3 uh, 100.1 uh, uh, for, for ease of access uh, we need to uh, put all the alarm binary signals in a in, in a row all of the alarm signals are considered to be in one uh, word you can see that uh, I selected N word, uh, N word uh, 100 as the alarm word and I used that in the uh, HMI. So the trigger tag is alarms and the, mm, the, uh, the bit number, I think it's, uh, it's, it's let me see if it's nine. Yes, it's nine here. For the next uh, signal, it should be 10. And for the normal condition, I think it's uh, 8. Based on the, uh, and based on the uh, definition that we have made in the user program, we share, you know, the uh, The assignment of the uh, binary signal and it's meaning M100.0 is considered to be normal, uh, 100.1 uh, is considered high alarm based on the user program here, and this is the low alarm. Well, uh, the other point. Here is alarm classes. We uh, let me change the color related to alarm classes. Mm. So this is for errors. If it's possible to change the color for warnings, uh, we can change the color to yellow. Yellow. And save. Uh, uh, so we save the project and uh, uh, before um, the final stage, we should go to runtime settings. That's very crucial in alarms. We need to enable alarm class colors. Uh, then the final stage here will be adding. Uh, uh, Um, uh, we are adding alarm uh, view uh, from uh, from controls section of the uh, toolbox here, and uh, there is a there is option for uh, you know sh short message available will be available on the HMI. So we have access to uh, the alarms here. We can acknowledge them and. Uh, Uh, before uh, function test, uh, we should go to acknowledgement and uh, define the events related to this uh, button. For pressing, we need to set a binary signal. This binary signal is acknowledgement, and then we release uh, reset. and we use the same signals so we press uh, we have a short pulse here and uh, uh, let me function test the whole uh, program so we are in normal normal critical condition let me see if it's uh, if we have the Acknowledge sig signal here. So we are in normal. We are in normal condition. 
So we have the acknowledgement here. Let me change the uh, OLEG input to the maximum value. And let's see if it's possible. We are in high limit. Let me try to acknowledge. It's not possible to acknowledge. And when we are in normal condition, now it's possible to acknowledge and now we are in normal condition we are in normal condition uh it's possible to acknowledge this uh, signal what about this signal it's uh it's not an all mm, it's not a serious alarm it's a warning but for uh, low limit we have this alarm here and what about if we acknowledge this signal? Uh, this signal is available until we move to the safe uh, state and press acknowledge, and then we are in normal condition. Uh, so this is a very simple user program. If you want to function test the, uh, the program with the watch table, it's also possible to have it in Watch table. We are fifty two. High limit is active. So we tune to eighty two. So we are in normal condition. And to zero, we have the low limit. Low limit is not gone until we press acknowledge. It's a very simple user program. You can see the color changes. And uh, you can see that the alarm view will, can be integrated to the user program. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, uh, please subscribe to our channel.